Welcome back everybody. <clears throat> On this video, I got some uh, some goodies for y'all. So I got the Banks Pedal Monster, the eye dash gauge, and the and the gauge mount. And let me show you real quick. I haven't tested it obviously. Like I'm barely testing it out. Like I'm sure that it works. You know the it turns on properly and everything, and the gauge fits in the pod and everything. So let me show y'all what I got so far. It's not the final product, but I'm just you know making sure that it fits and works and everything. And I connected it. It, it turns on uh, the stock and the banks gauges. They work. So so it works. I just gotta go back in there and clean it up and put it in proper way. But I'm just testing that out before I, I do all the work and it doesn't work or whatever. So uh, let me show you what I got going on again. It's not the final installed product. I'm just, I'm just testing it out to make sure that it does work so that it's not faulty or whatnot. But you know, it, it, it works. So I'll show y'all and then I'll show you the final installed product and then I'll go test it out. But let me show you what, what I got real quick. Again, this is the Banks Pedal Monster for my 18 uh, Ram 3500. So let me show you the product itself. Real quick, yeah, my truck's dirty. I used to go back from from work and all of this and yeah so here is the banks pedal monster this is the box for the pedal monster but it's not in there because it's sitting over here it was really easy to connect you had to just plug in the wires from the pedal monster to the cables and the accelerator and and so on it's not it's not hard at all it takes like maybe like two minutes and for me i had to get the obs splitter because I'm gonna run the pedal monster in my EOD and it requires your OBD2 port. And I also got this from Banks as well too, the splitter. So once you turn it on, you'll see, but one goes to this one, the, the pedal monster, and then that'll be for my EOD. Again, I got this one on Banks as well, off their website. I got everything from the from Banks website. And here's the, the eye dash gauge. Here's the box that came in, and here's the gauge. Again, it's easy to install. It's very, very simple. It's what, two wires? So you'll run this one to the gauge, and then the other one will be run from the gauge to your OBD2 port. So, as you can see, that wire runs to your OBD2 port, and then this wire from your gauge is running to the pedal monster and it has another connector or another port I guess if you can run another gauge but I'm only running one gauge and here's the pod that I'm going to use it fits in there perfectly so other than that back there but no here's the pod I already put the gauge in there yeah it fits perfect so I also got this from from Banks website. So all that I got was from Banks. The Pedal Monster, the OBD2 splitter, die dash gauge, and the pod. But it's real simple. Let me uh, turn it on for y'all so, so, so you can see how it turns on. It has a lot of settings too on it too. Let me, let me crank it on. Hopefully you can hear me, but give it something to boot up. Come on. I think the gauge is connecting to the pedal monster is blinking. And I think we should get two greens. I think it's connecting. Wasn't doing it doing that a while ago. Nope, nothing yet. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'll be back. Let me see what's going on. Alright, 
everybody. I don't know. I had to turn the truck off and back on, and yeah, it, well, there, there, there it works now. So as you can see, get you some some start some shade. But yeah, there's the pedal monster, the gauge. And let me let me see if I can rev it up a little bit so you can see the gauge working. It sure works. Okay, everybody. If you have a uh, 18 uh, Ram 3500, I'm pretty sure they're all going to be the same, like the 14, 15, all those your models. So when you're, whenever you're running the two wires for the pedal monster and the gauge, I found the easiest way to do it because, like, down here's your pedal monster and the OB2 port. So, you go right here on the side, just pry it open and open it, and you can run your two cables uh, together for the pedal monster and the OB2 port. Run it through here, and it'll be a clean, clean, uh, clean look. And then make sure you have enough slack. I got slack a little bit, but you can always come back down here and pull a little bit. But as long as it ain't, you know tangled in here so you can run it through here and then once you get it you can close it back up let me close it and you don't and it's clean look you want all the two wires are there other than here but have this pillar mo uh pillar pod gauge pod and it's gonna cover it away so you won't even see these cables and you might have to run it here really tight close to the door weather strip but it does not pinch. I already closed the door. It does, it does not pinch. So you're fine. But yeah. I found it would be easier just to run it through here. Just, just pry it open. Little tabs. And you can run it through there. And down here you can hardly see the wires. Whenever I get the pod uh, installed and everything. And I have the, enough wire that I need. The, enough cable. Then down here I will tuck away all this extra slack. And make, make it look like it's not there. But yeah guys. Pop this open, run your two your two cables through here, and it'll be looking like this. You might have to remove this. I did because it helped out, it helped uh, run these cables through here. So you might have to remove this arm arm handle. But if you got the uh, the gauge, the pod, you're gonna have to do it, remove it anyways. But yeah, all right, guys. Quick tip: run it through there. Let me finish up and I'll get back with y'all. All right, and here is the complete finish install. Like I said, run the cables through here. See that clean look? You don't see no cables. They're all hidden, tucked away. And then down here, you gotta do your best that you can to zip time and get them out of get them out of your way. And you know, you just uh, you gotta figure that one out. But it's not the hardest. Clean look. I already tested it to where my feet don't uh, get tangled and all that stuff, so it's good. And here's the gauge in the pot, and uh, looks good, man. And then we got power. So I mind like, oh man, like this has so many different settings. So on mine, I got the miles per hour, the torque, and the battery. Because on, well, it's off, but over here, it don't show you the battery unless you go in there and look for it specifically. But this one is telling your voltage at all time. And then the torque, because I want to see how much torque I'm putting out when I'm when I'm towing, stuff like that. But there's so many settings. Uh, coolant temps, trans temp. There's so many different settings. Like, oh, it's a lot. So you got to just figure out what you want. And then your um, the pedal sensitivity. Let me show you real quick. Let me turn the truck on and uh, show y'all. So yeah, this is awesome. I love it.
But yeah, you can see the throttle. I haven't tested that yet, so I just put it on city to make sure that it works. You can see the stock and then the banks. But yeah. Alright guys, this uh it was an easy install, it just takes a little bit of time, but it's it's very simple. Again, I got the pod, the gauge, the pedal the pedal monster, everything off the bank's website. And uh, I'm gonna go test it out, see how how it works and all that, and I'll let you know how it goes. But other than that, real simple man. Alright guys, next one.